twice that day the same distance or like the same route I don't think they could figure out the same um, or how long he actually drove it's just from a um, I think it was from a plate registration thing on the highway so I don't know he was there but they don't know how far he drove or where he actually got off the highway so as I said lots of speculations it's the passion of you because there was a statement from the family in particular Rebecca's father himself who said in an interview that the drive had to do with a different business that they couldn't talk about so as you can imagine that spiked like a lot of interest and like a lot of other theories and there were a couple more hints from the family so I think from the sister from Florian and stuff as well that there was some hints that he was doing like some drug smuggling to Poland this could never be proven there's no actual evidence from it but as I said the family themselves kind of hinted at that there was something going on I'm sure that's been like discussed with their lawyers and stuff but they can't make that public there has also been a report though on that day of a sighting of the same berry red Reno Twingo at the site of a forest so there was a horseback rider girl who rode past the car so I parked there and also saw a suspicious man around the area the whole area and generally a lot of lakes forests and stuff have been searched by the police there's massive searches going on still after like three years they did massive searches back then but there's just not a single, not a single, single trace has been found so far. No evidence, nothing. She just like, and she was gone. It's so weird. Interestingly enough though, Rebecca's family has stated on a talk show so publicly that they do not think Florian had any involvement in the disappearance of their daughter and that they actually believe that she is still alive so I don't know they must know more about those drives than we do as I said you know they kind of hinted at some different stuff going on there apparently not very legal otherwise they would have spoken about it but they don't believe that he had any involvement so I'm sure they know something we don't I kind of can't wrap my head around it fully I'm more so on the side that he had something to do with it there's also been reports from his ex-girlfriends and people who've known him in the past that he was like really aggressive and abusive none of Rebecca's family um, say that he actually is though it's all just like access and stuff coming out after the disappearance none of that was talked about before so again just another case that just you just can't be sure of and I mean that's basically all they know at this point and this is three years later so where does this you know kind of leave us as I said Rebecca has never been found but police has actually stated that they're assuming she never left that house alive in the morning even though there's they searched the, the house and the car and they never found any traces of a struggle neither in the house nor the car they also arrested Florian twice at this point but they always had not enough evidence so I had to let him go I think they also are like super unsure about the motive because why would this random husband of her sister make like want to have her 15 year old sister be disappeared make it make sense he still though is the main suspect even now three years later there's also been some rumors going on i've seen a lot of it on tiktok that um rebecca has been sighted in krakow poland this has never actually been confirmed though 
much it changed between 15 and 18 so she would now be 18 that's just like so much change you go through and as I said there's never been the pictures of her are just like very different so I feel like even if you saw someone on the street thinking it would be her I don't know it's a possibility but I don't feel like it's a very plausible one
find it really, really informative. I enjoy watching these videos. I always have the hope of finding someone when I'm randomly walking on the street or, you know, seeing something in a video that I know that makes sense to me and that I somehow could magically solve these crimes, <laughs> murders, disappearances, you know, you name it. But, yeah, that's why I wanted to do my own, especially because I feel like I was in an advanced position here, being able to speak German and being able to translate all this information from German news outlets, from German information sources for you to listen to and, you know, maybe you can somehow help in this case. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're not feeling too heavy after this video. I have a couple other videos you can watch to now properly relax and I'll leave this behind you in a sense of, you know, turn the calm back down and relax a little. I hope I did this kind of well for my first time. I hope I presented it interestingly and um, informative and in a good order. <laughs> so let me know in the comments, let me know what you think of this case and other than that, I hope to see you in another video. I am probably going to make this, as in, I'm, <laughs> I'm probably going to make true crime a series because I really enjoyed <laughs> looking into this case. It was really interesting for me.